Grace Leatherwood. Congratulations. You are the winner. Bryce Leatherwood wooed country music fans the first time he appeared on the Voice US stage during the second episode of season 22 on September 20th, 2022. His voice and typical cowboy appearance in the audition had viewers at home and the audience in the theater cheering. Judges recognized his talent and nearly all became interested in getting him onto their team. Because Bryce could pick Blake Shelton, a country star judge he admired, and whose song he sang, the clear choice marked his competition. Ultimately, he won the season of the TV show and was signed to record an album in mid-December 2022. But what came of it all, and where is Bryce Leatherwood now? We investigated and came up with the answers. Bryce Leatherwood was born on February 4, 2000, in Woodstock, Cherokee County, Georgia, USA. He grew up on his grandfather's farm and had a typical country life of listening to country music, riding tractors, and generally helping out. His grandfather celebrated his 75th birthday in 2021, having beaten cancer in six months in 2019. Bryce started singing in seventh grade at Dean Rusk Middle School in Canton, Georgia, but was also a talented high school wrestler. And while attending Sequoia High School in 2018, he became the first Sequoia-based region champion in over a decade. He also enjoys skiing and is a devoted Christian. Bryce's first foray as a music professional involved playing in college bars when he was studying at Georgia Southern University in Statesboro, from where he graduated in May 2022 with a business degree. As an underground artist, he sold 225 seats in less than a week for one college bar show, which was an ode to his talent. Bryce hopes that his business degree will help him manage his music career as he got the chance to use it before graduation after he formed the eponymous band in 2021, which performed in bars such as The Blue Room, Southern Social, and many venues in Macon, Georgia. Bryce has also worked in door-to-door -door sales, translating well to his landscaping company, where he learned to read and interact with people. Bryce Leatherwood sang Goodbye Time by Conway Twitty during the blind audition stage of NBC's TV show, The Voice US. However, he performed a version with a piano bass that Blake Shelton released on his third studio album entitled Blake Shelton's Barn and Grill in 2004. Three judges, Gwen Stefani, John Legend, and Blake Shelton turned their chairs, indicating that they wanted to be his coach throughout the competition. They described his voice as like butter and noticed how excited Blake and John were to have him on. The former repeatedly exclaiming, welcome to the team, Blake, before he stopped singing. Blake also asked a rhetorical question. Has there ever been a country or a name than Leatherwood? What a great country name. He jokingly praised his music choice since the young country star picked his song version before Bryce chose to coach him, then proceeded to battle rounds and knockout rounds where he performed Red Dirt Road and Colder Weather by Brooks and Dunn and Zach Brown Band, respectively. During live rounds, Bryce almost lost his spot on the show due to a lack of support from his coach. Luckily, the American audience used their votes to instant save him and send him to the top 13, where he sang George Strait's Amarillo by Morning. In hindsight, he thinks Blake knew that country music fans would vote to keep him and let the other team member go through, meaning that this was a strategic move to retain both singers in the competition. Bryce then performed Stand in My Boots by Morgan Whalen in the top 10 round, and If Heaven Wasn't So Far Away by Justin Moore in the semifinals, receiving enough public votes both times. Bryce Leatherwood performed three songs in the finale, starting with T-R-O-U-B-L-E by Travis Tritt and Keith Whitley's Don't Close Your Eyes. He concluded the evening of December 13th, 2022 with a duet with Blake Shelton of the judges' 2011 song, Hillbilly Bone, featuring Trace Atkins. After receiving enough support, Bryce was crowned the winner of season 22 of The Voice. The other Team Blake contestants, Bodie and Braden Lape, placed in the top five. Bryce was the first artist to remain in the show via the instant save vote and win, 
and his victory marked the ninth win for Blake Sheldon in 22 seasons on the show. He then announced that he would retire from the show after season 23. Winning made things more special, since Blake revealed that he sees a younger version of himself in Bryce, especially the drive to succeed and the desire to be on radio. He admits he was nowhere near as well-spoken and a bit of a mess, while Bryce knows what he wants to do and is doing it. Bryce won $100,000 and a recording deal with Universal Music Group, with Blake promising to be there for him because he sees himself as an older brother to the young artist. In contrast, Bryce sees Blake as a best friend, an incredible coach, and someone he relates to and wants to be like one day. As proof, Blake's 2023 New Year resolution was to hear Bryce on the radio throughout the year. Bryce just wants to impact more people's lives with his music and personality, make them happy, dance, or cry. Bryce never hid the fact that he would have been content with not winning because he saw five winners during the finale. After he prayed on stage, he told Bodie and Morgan Miles how proud he was of them. He was so overjoyed to make his dreams come true and his family proud that the audience would have heard him sobbing if confetti and loud cheers hadn't muffled the sound. However, his win received a mixed reaction, especially from fans of other coaches or music genres other than country. Social media, such as Twitter and Instagram, were filled with posts suspecting that the show was rigged in favor of the country music genre or an artist with Team Blake. They mentioned country singers such as Cassidy Pope, Danielle Bradbury, Craig Wayne Boyd, and Todd Tilgman as great examples. Viewers also noted that other contestants had dynamic performances and rich vocals, while Bryce stuck to one monotonous style until the end. Online comments arose enough buzz that TV Line immediately interviewed Bryce, asking for his opinion. He said that the night before the finale, he briefly thought winning was impossible. However, he was comforted by the fact that, in his view, more fans started voting for him after the Amarillo by Morning performance. Furthermore, Bryce loved singing if heaven wasn't so far away, and knew his rendition of T-R-O-U-B-L-E in the final would be the most fun he'd have. However, on the day, Bryce didn't think he'd receive special treatment. Instead, he kept thinking, all right, watch this, to prove his worth. He added that country music fans are impactful, not unfair or biased, and that it's about who you are as an artist, not only based on voice. However, he agreed with viewers that he would lose to Morgan Miles and Bodie if pure vocal talent were the only measure. Bryce still resides in the same place he did while auditioning for The Voice. However, when Music Mayhem magazine interviewed him, he revealed his plans to move from Statesboro, Georgia to Nashville, Tennessee, but had to figure out his home scenario and save his money before settling there. Bryce also admits to not being the best songwriter, especially of song verses, and is practicing both alone and with others. Moreover, he hopes collaborating with talented and successful people in Nashville will help him evolve. In his opinion, artists need to be writers to provide input and apply changes that would make songs unique to them. He kept things quiet until a fellow Season 22 finalist, Morgan Miles, who became one of his best friends, posted a Twitter behind-the-scenes update from a studio on January 16, 2023, revealing that the two recorded an original song they wrote but didn't specify anything about its release. In an NBC interview, Bryce said that he wants to release an album or two in the next couple of years, but that he's fine with playing shows and festivals if it makes people happy. Many artists use the prize money to buy things they've always wanted, or even splurge on unnecessary items and lavish gifts. Bryce is different. He considers himself still a broke college kid, doesn't care how high the reward is, but will invest the prize money and never even see it, but reveal that his family is exempt from his money-saving goal and spent significant money during Christmas after his victory because they deserved it so much. Bryce believes that staying young, broke, and hungry will help him thrive more than if he wanted to grow from his newfound minor wealth. Consequently, he enjoys the idea of couch surfing in Nashville and having to record and perform in less than ideal conditions.
Moreover, he doesn't mind collaborating with unknown artists because he learned in The Voice not to judge a book by its cover. He claims he fell in love with everybody and realized they are all dedicated sweethearts and high characters. As of late February 2023, Bryce has yet to release original music. However, he wrote some songs with contestants from his season of the talent show. As for his solo music, Bryce is meeting with the record label and plans to have a sound and mentality typical to musicians from Georgia, but depict the story of his life. Bryce stated that his ideal sound is a mix of southern rock, traditional country, and modern country, and plans to take Blake's advice to be adaptable but always remain who he is. Moreover, he's equally interested in recording upbeat and fun songs, and slow and more somber tracks as long as they impact people. He also said that he wouldn't mind showing more vocal range in squeals and belts to throw a curveball. Bryce's biggest inspirations are Georgia artists such as Alan Jackson, Sam Hunt, Luke Bryan, and Thomas Rhett, whom he thinks are great representatives. With that in mind, although he plans to be busy with music, Bryce misses his life in Georgia, which became apparent after his first place finish. He told Entertainment Tonight that after he gets home, he'll curl up beside a campfire outside, enjoy the cold weather, light a good cigar, and drink a nice whiskey. Bryce revealed that from the day he picked up his guitar, he wanted to perform at the Grand Old Opry, a weekly music show and one of the most prized honors for country music artists. Since the music stage concert is in Nashville, Tennessee, he hopes his upcoming relocation will increase his chances of being invited. Another motivation for him is that Morgan Miles played the Grand Old Opry on January 7, 2023 for the first time and received a standing ovation, bringing tears to his eyes. Blake Shelton opened his first Old Red restaurant in Tishomingo, Oklahoma in 2017 and invited Bryce to perform there on February 25, 2023. However, the unexpected demand for tickets forced the two to reserve a second date for the show the day before. Shortly afterwards, he had to add two more show dates due to overwhelming requests to hear him live on February 26th and March 3rd. Bryce's sold-out shows at the beginning of his career suggest that his coach and mentor will invite him again. Bryce also wanted to appear on Barmageddon, Blake's TV show in which two celebrities compete in five bar games. He jokingly said that he wouldn't want to get Michael Phelps, while Blake playfully proposed that he should battle fellow country singer Luke Bryan, who sucks at everything. Bryce's cowboy hats received a lot of interest and praise throughout the reality TV show, and he called them his coat of armor. With that in mind, he joked that more hat businesses should have reached out seeking collaboration. In seriousness, he said he would design a line of hats in partnership with a company he likes. Before his TV show fame, Bryce Leatherwood uploaded several videos onto his eponymous YouTube channel, some foreshadowing, such as a June 2021 cover of Conway Twitty's Goodbye Time he performed at the audition. Others were covers he performed with his band, for instance, Riley Green's If It Wasn't For Trucks, and I Wish Grandpa's Never Died, and Travis Tritt's Help Me Hold On. Bryce also gave viewers a preview of his songwriting abilities in February 2021 with an intimate performance of an original entitled Little Old Bar. Similarly, he has a TikTok account under the handle at Bryce Leatherwood Music, onto which he uploaded behind the scenes videos from the competition and covers of popular songs. He also uploads videos that let his fans get to know him better such as unwrapping Christmas presents in his family home. Furthermore, he did a business promotion for Takamine. They gave him a guitar during the top 10 performance and gifted it to him at the end of the competition. Moreover, Chick-fil-A in Canton, Georgia, financially supported his musical endeavors, calling him their hometown hero. Additionally, his media renown saw him invited to Georgia's Governor's Ball in January 2023, with his mom, Hope, and Cherokee County Official League proclaimed that January 24th is Bryce Leatherwood Day, starting in 2023. In summary, Bryce is busy, has received the recognition he sought, and wants things to stay that way. 
a forthcoming album release, and a move to Nashville will do wonders for his music career. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on social media or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you back tomorrow.